Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to be doing a non-traditional kettlebell exercise, the single arm ball chest press. This is not a classic kettlebell exercise at all. This is an exercise that is specifically adapted from the first training system that I learned, National Academy of Sports Medicine training back when I worked in Hollywood at a normal gym. Everybody wants abs. An easy way to get abs is to take a symmetrical exercise and drop out one side so that it is a single-sided exercise and it forces us to have more core contraction. What we did not do back in gym training, I have no idea why, is we did not do a lot of dumbbell clean and press. CrossFit does this a lot now, and thank God somebody is doing it and somebody is teaching good technique with that exercise. What we did do was a lot of chest press because National Academy of Sports Medicine had very simple way. You had shoulder exercises, chest exercises, back exercises, core exercises, and leg exercises. And that was kind of it. And so we broke everything down into those five categories. That's not the way other systems work and all systems will have their own way to do that. But we did a lot of chest exercises because the injury rate is so high on most people going to the gym for their chest up here. You'll you go to the gym and you see those big guys and they have scars right here. That's because they've had to have shoulder surgery and that comes from benching really heavy usually without their scaps being able to move. So National Academy of Sports Medicine did a good thing, analyzed that problem, figured out a good way to get people to do chest and abs at the same time without ripping their shoulder out of the socket. And that exercise was the ball, single arm, chest press. It was done with a dumbbell then, so today we're gonna demonstrate it with both a kettlebell and a dumbbell the classic way. So, the classic exercise ball, something that came from physiotherapy and then was adapted by gyms because it is a pretty good idea. What we are gonna do is we start seated on the ball we're gonna pick up the weight with two hands. We're gonna get it to rack position. We're gonna roll out. As we roll out, we're gonna extend our arm into a bench position. So the ball is the bench, half of the bench. It is the part that supports underneath our shoulders. Our abs are the bench. They hold our body up. We're going to engage that by squeezing our glutes. So let's pick the weight up, L, to the L, get the hook, get the kettlebell up to this position. We're gonna start walking our feet out. We are gonna to get to the point where our head can still move. We're not going so far, we're putting the weight on our head. My weight is still on my shoulders. From here, lock out. You can bring your arm down now below parallel because the ball allows your scaps to move. What we're trying to get here is squeeze this glute a lot. This glute should be on the entire time. You should feel it right where your glute and your hamstrings meet. When we bring it down, we're gonna sit up. This is the tricky part. We're gonna start walking our feet back. Usually people get to about here and they lose it. Be careful when you are doing this if you are really sweaty because you will get sweat all over the ball and if you're on a smooth floor like I am right now, as you roll, the ball will turn. The sweaty side of the ball will end up on the concrete. And when you try to sit back up, the ball will pop out away from you because of a lack of friction. Always kind of funny, but we don't want to do that <clears throat> because you tend to fall on the ground. It doesn't feel great. You don't look cool, so don't do it. Now we're going to do this the way that I was originally taught this exercise is with a dumbbell. Same thing. We're going to pick it up with two hands. You will all recognize this as being that classic thing that you see in gyms where you kind of hike it up with your knee. You can do that. I don't do that, but it's something you can do. We get it up towards a rack position, stabilize it with the other hand. We're gonna walk our hips out. We are gonna squeeze our glutes at the top. With the dumbbell, we can go more towards a classic bench position where we can have our arm, instead of being close elbow to the body, we can flare it out to the side, press all the way to lockout. We are not gonna have a kettlebell wrist, we are gonna have a dumbbell wrist position. Squeeze that nice and hard. 
Elbow down. I can feel these muscles in my abs changing shape as I go through the range of movement. When we come to sit up, we're going to bring it close to our body, stabilize it with two hands, walk our body up any way we can, and set it down generally in front of the body. So this is an exercise that we used to call a sexy maker uh, because we're, people are getting all the things that they want. Everybody gets something that they want out of this exercise. You get core contraction, you get triceps, but you get a lot of abs and your glutes stay on the entire time. So ladies and gentlemen both love this exercise. Ladies love it because you can drop the weight down and set, do a time under tension and it's abs and glutes tied together. And it's all this muscles that make you look sexy from shoulder to hip. It's just sexy, sexy, sexy maker over and over and over again. You'll see people who do this exercise a lot and they end up with that really cool, sexy line right here that differentiates between the abs and the internal and external obliques. That line over here, this is kind of an exercise that does that very, very, very well. And the glutes stay on. The important part is having your glutes stay on. So a warm up exercise for this would be just a normal hip bridge. Do three sets of 10 to 20 ahead of time, fire it up all the way, make sure it comes on. When you get on the ball, the ball is going to try and move in all kinds of directions. And what you're going to notice is I stay pretty stable because I'm good at this. If you are, no, if you are new to this, when your arm goes down, your shoulder might dip, the ball might try and roll, all kinds of weird things are going to happen. Your goal is to not let those things happen. If you have to drop weight, drop weight and work on it again. But this is kind of like a good way to do a classic gym exercise for the chest with either a kettlebell or a dumbbell and a ball. It's a sexy maker. That's what we use it for, just sexiness.